14th October 2017, a day that will remain stuck in the hearts and minds of millions in Somalia and the world. A truck laden with hundreds of kilograms of explosives detonated at the city's busiest junction, killing close to 400 innocent lives, mostly women and children. One month after that attack, it's good to ask us who are the real owners of this country, who will create peace and stability. The answer lies among us all. It's you, the youth of today. It's after this attack that the country's youth joined hands, saying enough is enough. It's an initiative that brought together various youth groups for a united cause, addressing the predicament faced by Somalia's young population, who currently make up 70 percent of the country's total population. At this venue, the participants wore white ribbons, calling for peace and stability. The youth feel they have no say in the future of this nation. That's why most of us are migrating abroad. The question is, why are we doing this? Why are we silent about the challenges we face? But that will no longer be the case. We will make our voices heard through all media platforms. We want peace now and now. The Al-Shabaab has set out their agenda quite clearly, and that is to eliminate us all. We tell them here today that we will not sit and wait. We will fight and crush you. However, unemployment, poverty and migration continues to hunt the young in Somalia. The new government, however, hopes to boost employment levels in the country, with local councils announcing that it will hire thousands of university graduates in the coming months. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.